Well folks, I'm in Edinburgh today and this is the mound and we're going to visit the Black Watch Memorial just at the corner of the, uh, the street there, okay? I'm going to take you to see this now. That's it over there. Well, here we go, folks. It's a bit windy up here today, but uh, don't let the weather stop us yet, so we'll keep going. Well, this is the mound, folks. Okay, that's the mound. Good view of Edinburgh here as well. The castle there at the top of the hill. Can you see it? You can just see it there. Anyway, let's get round to seeing the Black Watch monument which is across the road. So here we are folks, this is the Black Watch Monument in Edinburgh, at the mountain. Just at the corner of, uh, just at the corner of Market Street there, you see. Now, there we are. Uh, it's dedicated to the memory of officers, non-commissioned officers and men of the Black Watch who fell in the South African War 1899-1902. Quite an impressive monument for them. Got a very nice mural as well. You see the soldiers on this good looking mural and well made and it's quite tall and right at the top there they've got uh, they've got one of the black watch soldiers right at the top just resting with his rifle Take a look round the other side. Officers, non-commissioned officers and men who were killed in action or died from wounds, Major General Andrew Gilbert Watchup, CB, CMG, Lieutenant Colonel John Henry Collier Coot, Coot, Lieutenant Colonel John Henry Collier Coot, Major Ernest Maxwell Wilshire, and you have all the captains below that. Okay. I'll let you take a look at it. And of course you've got the privates underneath. I'll let you take a look at it. Okay. Now, 
Now we'll go around the court, the other side, and see what's over there. Okay, here we go. Now, officers, non-commissioned officers and men who died from disease this time. Well, it's not an unusual fact that it doesn't matter what, what war was going on, there was always a very high rate of men killed by disease, you know? Um, so, let's have a look anyway. Captain Stuart Robertson, Colour Sergeant David Swan, Sergeant John Tyre, Lance Sergeant John Thompson, Lance Corporals, Charles Davidson, William Mitchell, John Robson, Drummers, George Brown, Herbert J. Ridgewell. And you've got all the privates underneath. You see? But you know, the Boer soldiers, they were, they were quite skilled, you know, they were, they were very skilled in their, uh, in their field craft. Although most of them were farmers, they put up a good fight against the, the British army. And that was because of their tactics. The Boer soldiers, they used guerrilla tactics, you know, field craft. And uh, the casualty lists were a lot lower than the British Army. That's what happened there and then, and we can't change the time, we can't put the clock back. And that was the way that they did things in those days. Brave, brave, brave soldiers, brave men, gave up their lives. Anyway, folks, that's us. Uh, signing off, and we'll see you on the next trip. And uh, bye for now. Bye.